hey guys the pleasure seeing you around so today what we're going to be doing not this drawing that you see in front of you but we're going to be doing this kind of drawing so what i'm saying this kind of drawing we're going to be projecting our drawn sample today so this is what we're going to be doing so what you're seeing the all the dimensions are in millimeters so without wasting any time what i'm going to do is i'm going to go there and then i'm going to start my drawing so it's going to be in millimeters so that millimeter and then i go create then from the after i have got my place to create and then i go with the main frame which is a rectangle then that one they need to be as per our drawing that one need to be 120 millimeters that one they need to be 72 millimeters that's what's crazy so what was I saying? So that one they need to be 72 millimeters. Okay, after drawing my main frame, which is the thing that I've put the so I'm gonna start with my circles. I need four circles. That one the this one the this one the and that one the and I need to know that from V to V, that's one need to be 96 millimeters. From here to V, that's one need to be 96 millimeters as well. Then these are the one, each of this circle need to be 12 millimeters. So these are the holes that are placed in our sample. That's one need to be 12. That one need to be 12 as well. This one here yeah, need to be 12 as well. So after that, what I need to do is I need to draw that port inside the. So I need two lines and I need to make sure that they are parallel to each other. I've seen that they are. So that's for confirmation. Thank you. And that one from V to V. That's one need to be 50 millimeters. After that, I need to make sure that from V to V, that one need to be 23. 23. From V to V, I need to have 23. I have already. From V to V, come on. From V to V, that needs to be 23. Come on. Yeah, that is 23 already. Thank you. So I need to make sure about this dimension V. So from V to V, that one needs to be 12 millimeters. All right. So that's how, now I have about that dimension V. So from V to V, that's why I need to be 12 as well. It was I saying that need to be 12 as well. Which is also applied V. That need to be 12. From V to V, that need to be 12. From V to V, that need to be 12 as well. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and say finish sketch. And then I'm going to go and extrude. So I'm going to start by excluding that part. So that's one and that's one. So these ones need to be 10 each. Thank you for that. 10 each so they are 10 each then what i will do is i go there and say visibility visibility and then i come here extrude that spot here so that spot they need to be three millimeter above the turn so that need to be 13 millimeters okay then i'm gonna go and extrude this spot here so now the spot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to cut three millimeters. So it's going to be 
16 I'm going to look at 3 V I'm going to look at 3 V please don't be stubborn my friend all right then I'll say okay so there it is so after that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put fillet here so that's one need to be uh 12 so the there are just need to be 12 v sorry 12 v enter so the same way v 12 v i come the side here you have to stop on it i come the side day that need to be 12 okay I come to that side D that need to be 12 as well. So I say, okay. So now I'm done with the drawing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just try to remove all the visibilities, actually all the sizes and everything. So this is how it is like. Okay. So I can even choose the material if I want at this stage because everything is done. Okay. Just like to to show how beautiful the sample might be so i'm gonna go and say uh, uh stainless steel okay so after that if now i want to do my projection i'll come here <coughs> i'll come there on new then i press the after that what i'm gonna do is oh first of all one thing first of all i need to save my sample i need to save my drawing so i'm gonna go and save it so i'm gonna go and save it save it as save as so i'm gonna save it the like uh what is this base base thank you so after that after saving it what i'm gonna do is uh, give it time give it time give it time okay thank you so i'm gonna go the on new then i come here on drawing i press v i say create <clears throat> so here is my sheet of creating my drawing so i'm gonna go place base so i'm gonna press the i'll come here i'll do it v remember this is for your scale so you can put a scale i'm gonna put on let's say to scale yeah like that so the dimension time two <coughs> i'm gonna put that day this day so that is my front view that you're seeing there that is my front my front view that is my top view that is my left view so that is the projection or the profile of my sample then I say okay check now so now you have your dimensions you have everything there you have everything there don't mind that you can put it wherever you want if you want to be down there so you have everything there so if you want to add you can see all the sizes are there all the sizes are there <coughs> so if you want to add some sizes like on the what you need to do is you go on a note after that you, you click dimension <clears throat> and then you come here you say maybe from the to the so that one was three millimeters okay so they're telling you the default say okay so you can see that is three millimeters so from the to the that was 10 millimeters so that is 10 millimeters so here they are telling you how many uh after the comma so i can say up to three digits after the comma so they are thinking about the decimal places so then i will just say one like two decimal places after the comma so you can see the okay then i say okay there we go all right so this is how you create your projects and drawing that's 172 okay that's one the was 12, 13 okay that's one V is supposed to be three. All right. Okay. So basically, this is.
yeah basically this is how you create your projection drawing okay so this is how you do it all right so it was a pleasure to share to share this video i hope that uh, you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't don't forget to share if you feel like and don't forget to like if this has touched you thank you so much uh grateful one and uh, thank you see you for the next video bye take care of yourself for now ciao